now we need to focus on what we are actually building we are building a rest api that can do crud on products because we are building an inventory system so the user should be able to create read update and delete products it's time to concentrate on the database structure of our system obviously we should have a products table and there should be a users table as well to do the user management for now let's go with those two when we are developing a project with laravel we don't just create tables manually we use migrations for that what is migrations migrations are a way to version control tables you can create tables add columns delete columns or finally drop tables you can easily do this with your code you no need to log into my skill server or a software like php my admin just with your code so that's really easy when you are developing a project with laravel okay let's find out what it is uh, really like time to create our first migration open up the terminal and make sure you are in the you are inside the project let's find out ls so the project by default the project is created in the block folder by default so you need to go inside that folder cd block now type ls and you will see all the applications files inside that folder okay to create a migration you need to run this command php artisan make colon migration space then you need to type what is what is the name of that migration let's name this migration create products table so that makes sense actually hit enter so that creates our first migration open up the project folder and inside database there is a folder called migration open that up and you will see our first migration has been created there so what are these by default laravel comes with two default migrations those are for creating users table and password reset tables we will see what what they actually do later for now let's open the migration we just created products table as you can see there are two methods have been generated in that file what they actually do when you are running the migration it runs this method up if you need to revert your action you need to roll back that migration so when you are rolling back a migration it runs this down method okay so where do we define our table obviously inside this up method by default laravel has added some code some piece of code here to help me out uh, it has already defined two columns i don't need them we will create our own columns so we just delete that and let's define our table so what columns do we need for our products table we need id which is the primary key and we need name of the product and also we need a description for the product finally we need the price so we will go with those columns so laravel laravel has already generated this piece of code schema create the table name so i will stick to this name and 
we should write we should define our columns here table so the id column so this should be auto increment column laravel has function for this increment so this column will auto increment for every record i name this id great and then i need name should be a string and I should define the string length as well I'll put that 100 by the way you can find all these code snippets uh, and everything on Laravel documentation for this I will use text these are much similar to mysql keywords this should be the description great and I put this null level which means this column can be null as well finally this should be a float I guess yeah float the, this is the price price of the product this cannot be null right we have a simple table it can store products with the name with a small description and the price obviously you can add more columns tags SKUs images and anything you like I will stick to this to keep the simplicity right I'll save this and you should define this down method as well but uh, it is already generated by Laravel so I don't need to do anything now this migration is ready to run I'm going to run PHP artisan migrate so this this little command will run our migration well I get an error yes I should because I didn't connect the database okay well open up PHP my admin and create a database for your system I'm going to name this um, REST API Laravel and create our database. Okay, I'm going to copy this name and I should update my project with that. So, where should I put this? In the project structure. There is a file called .env. Open that up, and this is where you you put all the environment variables in your project. You should see there is another variable called data db database. So this is where you should put your database name. And for username, if you are on Windows, it should be root and password is a blank great now let's clear this up and run it again php artisan migrate great we have run our first migration okay great we have created all the tables according to the uh, migrations we had in our project users table which was defined by laravel by default and products table this is this is our migration and these two are also generated from laravel great so 
we have run our first migration and we have created our first table great now so i think now we can continue our project with adding more functionality like controllers models and etc so see you in the next tutorial